one, two, three, four. Call in a comic culture war. You know, I talked to, uh, in private, I talked to one of the writers from Bleeding Cool. And, uh, you know, I said, what exactly is the deal? We are talking about one of these controversies uh, in which uh, a lefty comic writer kind of got out of control. And I said, you know, what this person said uh, wasn't cool. It wasn't appropriate. Why? Why are you defending them? Why is it so important to you uh, that this person be defended? Uh, you know, I'm not saying that anybody should lose their job. I hate that. Like, I really want everyone to prosper in this business. I don't want to see anyone punished by losing their jobs um, or their livelihoods. I really don't. I want everyone to do really well, and I want there to be a wide and diverse array of voices um, in this industry producing comics. And it's, it's especially interesting when um, somebody uh, who, somebody has to, you know, write a comic book about a character who maybe they fundamentally disagree with at the core. Um, I think that's a really, really neat thing. I actually prefer to read books like that. Um, but anyway, uh, so this writer, for Bleeding Cool said to me, you know, Ethan, don't you understand? We can't let them win this. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, this is a, this is a culture war ba battleground. <clears throat> it's 20 degrees out right now. It's freezing cold. I'm driving out to get diapers um, for Ava. Um, this is a comic book culture war battleground. And if we give them this, um, then it's all over. Like, they'll have won this, this one little battle. And, like, honestly, this sounded like conspiracy thinking to me. Like, you hear people talking about this, or you, like, read uh, essays uh, that people write about this kind of a thing, and you don't really think, like you go, well, that's that's an interesting theory and maybe that's happening on some kind of subconscious level. But I don't really, I never suspected that it was real. Like there were people who actually believed this. And, you know, it was like a motivation for uh, decisions that they were making, moral or ethical decisions, uh, until uh, this one conversation. And it was it was very eye-opening. And I realized, you know, it's like, yeah, it is true. I mean, there are people, there are kind of strange agents in this industry who completely see it as uh, just, you know, a culture war. They, you know, it's like whose ideas are going to win out through uh, the entertainment media. Like your entertainment, like you're just trying to play video games. You're just trying to go to the movies. You're just trying to watch TV, read comic books. You're just trying to do these things as a normal person. And um, there are people who... And all you want to do is be entertained. That's all you want to do. But there are people out there who want to teach you a political lesson in your entertainment. Like, uh, you know, they want to sneak in and they want to kind of... Um, uh, I don't know. Hijack... Uh, these things, and then just fill it with like, you know, dogma with ideology, so that you're constantly like there is no escape from it. There's no escape from it. And uh, people say to me, and it always kind of surprises me because you know everyone knows my politics. Everyone knows I'm a Republican. People think I, you know, have uh, weirder political beliefs than I do. It's like, I disagree with all your politics, everything you stand for. You do? Like, what? Like, what do you, like, fundamentally disagree with me about? Like, like that you would make a statement like that. Um, but it's like, uh, you know, that's so weird to me. It's just so weird. Because um, it's like my, you know, my political beliefs are pretty much pretty normal, I would think. Hang on, let me go inside. Let's. I got to get out of this car. It is. Fr it's 19 degrees, 19 degrees out here, and maybe where you are, it's colder. Uh, but I haven't been this cold in a long time, so let me get inside the shop. Right. <laughs> anyway, so people ask me. They say, you know, um, 
I don't believe what you believe, so uh, let me ask you a question. Can I trust you? <laughs> to, you know, like if, if I pick up your book, am I going to be hit with, uh, you know, uh, tax reform ideology or immigration reform ideology? And the answer is no, I'd never think of that. I would, that doesn't even occur to me. Like the only thing I'm interested in is doing a book that everyone likes so that uh, you will come back um, next month and get the next one. That's it. That's my entire motivation. Like, I'm not at all concerned about teaching anyone a lesson or convincing you of anything except that uh, blueberries. Two of them, I think. I don't know if they're going to be any good. We'll try them out. Uh, except that, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> except that my comics are fun. That's it. That's all I want to uh, convince you of. You had a good time, you're gonna come back next month. So it always really surprises me. But then I also think, like, um, what if, like, okay, so what if we did agree? Would you, is that what you want? You want a comic book where uh, an ideology that you agree with uh, is preached to you? Is that what you read comics for? To just have your own belief, beliefs kind of like reinforced, restated? <laughs> it's like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. That's just foreign to me. All right, let's see. This is the baby aisle here. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's real. I mean, this kind of thing is really happening. There are people who really think this way. And I, I don't know if you would consider yourself a victim of it, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I consider myself as just uh, an innocent spectator of uh, pop culture, a victim of it. You know, it's like, I, I don't, we have two boxes. You guys were especially nice with the um, super chats, so we're gonna do two boxes of diapers today. <laughs> uh, let's see, do we want anything else? Yeah. And if you told me that you, you felt victimized by it, I would, I would completely understand. Like, where can you go? Can you go see uh, a Star Wars movie without being lectured to, uh, without feeling like there was some kind of social engineering, you know, um, agenda behind it? That is, uh, that's the question. And it's a, it's a big concern to people like me who do this for a living. I don't know if it's a concern to regular people who, um, who uh, just consume it and uh, don't even think about it. But I mean, that concerns me. It concerns me that people consume it without even thinking about it. Those are the people who uh, these, these culture warriors actually want. I mean, they want these people. Uh, they're perfect victims of, uh, of this agenda. So I don't know. I mean, the point is, uh, you know, we were talking had a little conversation on Twitter and I was just like, I don't want anything from you guys. I will never lecture you. Uh, you know, I will never yell at you for whatever you believe. I just want your $2.99. <laughs> That's all I want. That's all I want from you. And if you want to send me an attaboy, you're doing a good job. Uh, that's appreciated too. All right. So we've got our diapers. We've got bananas and blueberries. <laughs> Let's uh, pay for this and get out of here. Bye.